No, that's not me. That's me. Oh. Wee. Are, are you still flying? You told me the wrong one. I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs>
perfect thing about KiwiCo is they make perfect gifts for young and old. If you have a kid that's interested in STEM or wants to get interested in STEM, KiwiCo is a great option. Now this is the awesome thing about KiwiCo. You can actually get 50% off of your first month of any crate if you go to kiwico.com slash flight test and check out their awesome line of crates. Now I actually have to head out and pick the guys up from the airport. Let's go build some more Flurkins. All right, so we're back from Missouri. Had a great time with John, built a lot of airplanes, and also, I couldn't sleep last night. I went ahead and planked this out, did a version two. We're gonna build it right now. All right, so the top half's pretty much done, and the really cool thing about this design is although it has a lot of weird angles, it goes together incredibly easy. Uh, I want this to be an incredibly easy build, but also one that looks incredibly complicated at the same time, so it's a really rewarding experience. Everything just basically pops in. Now, I'm gonna make a couple changes, refine it a little bit between this version and the very last one, but we're ready to flip this over, turn it on its back, and then put the bottom portion on, and ultimately the nose. Then we're ready for our motors and electronics and take it out for a test flight. So we're at manufacturing here. Thank you guys. Your support over the Black Friday and the Christmas holiday has been amazing. We are packing, but we also have to multitask because we need all hands on deck to get things shipped. So we brought this out to our manufacturing building. We're gonna paint it, let it dry in here, work on it, while we're filling orders for you guys. So while Dave's cutting out the vinyl, I'm finishing off the FPV design, and the vision behind this was I wanted to take a lot of the notes that we benefit from the quad world and put them into the Flurkin. Mainly, I would love to see an over-under mentality where you can have your FPV gear up high, your HD camera down low, or vice versa. And also, if you're gonna be flying line of sight, you don't wanna push the limits and crash with a bunch of expensive FPV gear in it. So what I designed here was a very simple sled that locks in with the battery strap. The camera can mount in many different locations, and you can either mount it on the very top, I flip it this way, slide it right back in, or in this case, we're gonna have the camera down below so I can flip it down this way. And when we put the nose on, this camera is gonna go perfectly right through the center hole. There's also a tremendous amount of real estate. So even if you're doing long range or you're doing STEM projects where you need to have a GPS, a loiter system, return to home, uh, control board, there's so much real estate in here. You can place everything very neatly, let it have plenty of airflow and still have it balanced out. Once in a while, you just kind of question, did I make the right decision? I'm kind of leaning towards uh, doing some menacing uh, cat teeth on the front of it, you know, for it kind of Yeah. I'm just trying to come up with what I have in my mind to get it on there in vinyl. So uh, we're gonna see what happens here. So I think I'm gonna go a little bit different direction here. I think I wanna keep playing off the scratchy logo, but also make it like a spaceship sports car. So I'm gonna look into some checkerboard and some cat scratches and some basic uh, shapes I can put on this to kind of deck it out that way. All right, the Flurkins are now done. What a crazy journey in such a short amount of time. Yeah, and I mean, they turned out great. Absolutely. Beautiful. One of my favorite memories of designing this thing, taking it down to Missouri, learning about four swept wings, throwing it, crashing it, and ultimately bringing it back. Our next step here is we're gonna be putting them to the test. We got 120 acres. There's not many golfers out there. Let's go explore. Yeah, let's go have fun. All right, so we're gonna kind of be pushing things to the limit here. I'm gonna be using this Insta360 uh, to get 360 camera. There's gonna be a lot of air pressure pushing back on here, which even though it's nose heavy, it's gonna treat it as if it's tail heavy. And to have plenty of nose weight up in the front, I got a Tattoo 2300 four cell all the way in the front. The nice thing about the Flurkin is if I need to change the CG, I can change my battery size, or I can change the location of the battery to get the proper center of gravity. I don't have anything to lean against. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stand like this. <laughs> So Dave, like you haven't flown much FPV at all. Not much at all. This yeah, I just I just started shooting gaps between trees and stuff my last flight that two weeks ago. Bad. And here we are, just <laughs> like, hey, let's go fly a plane that we just finished designing. Why not? <laughs> just foam board. You'll do great. Ow. Are you ready, buddy? Yep, let's do it. All right, here we go. <laughs> well, wow. Don't whip it as hard as you whip this. <laughs> that was a who can testify? Holy cow! Make sure it got off the ground. Woo! All right, now I'm a little nervous. I wish I went first. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm ready to go under. All right, I'm good too. I'm coming down the creek right now. You coming down the creek? Okay, I'm above you. 
Ooh, that wind is real though. It is. I'm really amazed though. I really thought the forest swept wings would not be as maneuverable and wouldn't be that stable in the air. Um, I'm just learning so much about these platforms. All right, I'm gonna go down the creek too. I love Edgewater. For everyone that made Edgewater reality, thank you from the bottom of our heart. You guys have not only touched the lives of so many, but you've made this great content possible. Oh, this is fantastic. Are you behind me? Yeah. A little ways back, but I see you. It's nemes It's like really menacing to hear the, the motor noise. It and looks not great to see you. Look at this. Duck down here. Yeah, the wind is real, but it's handling it really well. This plane only weighs a pound, by the way, with the battery and stuff, about 1.2. There you are. I'll get behind you. You are booking it. I guess I am a lot more draggy than you are. <laughs> Look at that. That's amazing. These are really easy to follow each other. Yeah, I stayed behind you for All a little right. while. Boy, these DJI air units just make all the difference in the um, world, don't they? Yeah, it is just crystal clear. Look at that. This is amazing! <laughs> I'm gonna switch it up and go to the left this time. All right, get ready for a little, a little bit. bit of static. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, my favorite gap is right here. We call this buzzing the tower all the time. Oh, you're going over time. And this is yeah, not a this is not a calm day either. This yeah, is probably this guessing is a 10 mile an hour wind. Alright, where are you at, brother? I'm coming down the creek again actually. Uh pretty much right in front of us. Alright. I love this because oh. you're you're fairly new to this and you've been flying wings and stuff. What's the experience like compared to the wings you've flown? Oh it, it's great actually. Um this this feels really stable, more maneuverable. I'm gonna see if I can uh Come down the driveway. Yeah, there's no good place to drop in though. There's just, All right. I can't see where the you know, branches are. No, will you, be mad at, will you be mad at me though if I scratch the 360? I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna go for it, okay? Yeah. I've done this with the Cub, but this is a lot faster than the Cub. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing on battery. We'll have to see. We're really kind of pushing it, but I think we oh, have time I just to completely lost mine. Your video? Everything. All right, well that, that tells, that tells me maybe I should land too. I'm over there? No, that's not me, that's me. Oh. Wee. Are you still flying? You told me the wrong one. I'm gone. <laughs> Were you flying? I, I lost lost video. <laughs> oh no, I'm in a tree. All right. Lee pointed to you, and I was on myself. <laughs> oh no! Way over there. That well, you know what? We can see the damage. All right, let's try a hmm. a driveway run here. No promises. I may I may destroy this thing, but that's okay. We'll see how durable they are. Oh, you came in that way. Yeah, that's what I should have done. I was I came from the other side and was trying to find a way in. Ooh, it's getting sketchy. <laughs> Hold in there, buddy. Nope, oh, that's the end of my signal. That's the end of my signal. All right, I gotta find. I know where you are. You're right. Did I land uh, in one piece? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm in a tree. You're in a tree. All right, I landed smooth out there. You landed in a tree. This was awesome. It was fun. What a great experience. <laughs> All right, friends, the Florican is now available. This thing is as versatile as it is awesome looking. Incredibly easy to fly. So whether you're a first winger or this is something that you really want to build into, it's fantastic. Also, we designed this for FT STEM. So kids can design around this. They can put electronics in there, learn through that. Check out our FT STEM program. It's amazing from K through 12. What do you think? Yeah. Oh, it was great. Um, Jason McQuiston and I, Yeah. we're already talking about uh, starting up a racing league with him. I love it. I love it. Fred, thank you so much for being part of the Flight Test family. Check it out in the store. We'll see you next time. Right, let's go find our planes. Yeah. Also get out of the film and play. <laughs> <laughs>